Hey guys, welcome back to a new reaction on this channel. Today I'm going to be react to another K-pop song on this day. Wiki Miki again. <laughs> but it, it's still a funny name a little bit for me and I really hope I pronounce it right. If not, I'm super sorry. Um, to their song, Who Am I? That's a good question. Sometimes I ask it myself. <laughs> no, for real, it's been not that long ago <laughs> one month i guess in april i uh, reacted to the last time to wakey makey to their song sweet dreams um i was i i went into this reaction not really 100 percent sure because you know i re reacted to wakey makey a long time ago the first time i forgot the name of the song i'm super sorry um, and I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I'm really honest here. I wasn't the biggest fan of the first song I ever heard of them. Um, then I reacted to the song Sweet Dreams last month, and I have to say Sweet Dreams was a solid song, was a good song. Um, like I said, ma still not my kind of music, but for what it is, definitely a really good one. I also reacted to a solo solo song or the, the solo project uh, Sion got. Uh, with the CH420, <laughs> 420, um, so she and the band, um, to, uh, um, the, the Blackpink cover, when I remember that right, that was also a really good song, so I don't go into this reaction with the fact that I expect something I don't like, <laughs> if I can say that, but, um, maybe you know, K-pop is usually not my my type of music. There are definitely K-pop groups I like, but also K-pop groups where I said, hey, there are absolutely nothing for me. Wakey Miki is now that I have a song that I don't like and the song I like a little bit in between, I guess. <laughs> so I'm super excited how Who I Am sounds like and, and that's all I can say right now. So Wakey Miki with Who I Am, let's go. <laughs> guys i i'm sorry to pause after that because the song is uh not even three minutes long it's really short um but, all, all right i i have to i, I have to take my time right now <laughs> all right all right i i try to start so the song started i guess really popish <laughs> i mean it's it's obvious it's k-pop um it sounded really popish especially it got a little bit these typical i don't want to say typical but a little bit this radio radio pop vibe a little bit if i can say that um in, in general i have to say the songs got parts where i said yeah i like it but also parts where i said absolutely not my type of music um especially the start of the chorus with this one million times la <laughs> absolutely not my part i have to say that because i'm more especially in k-pop i'm a big fan of of drops of these electronical drops i really like that because they remind me when the drops are of course really good they remind me a little bit of um we call this in metal um we call it a breakdown um when the song Guts, or when the song gets slow and you know they are making a build up right now to a drop or in metal, like I said, to a breakdown, 
and then it hits you really hard if it's with an electronical beat or if it's with in metal with an absolute massive instrumentals um i i really love that i love that in k-pop with with their drops i love that in metal with the breakdowns um here you got these this a little bit popish la <laughs> chorus at the beginning especially um the the second part of the chorus sounds definitely good but this la part at the beginning absolutely not my type it it, it is too pop for me i have to say that uh like i said i i come from the metal scene um there are definitely like i said there are k-pop groups i really like if you take stray kids dreamcatcher uh, one us for example extremely amazing groups i freaking like their music um but this song is just uh, and you guys call it a bubblegum pop <laughs> I understand what you mean, and I think that fits really good into this song. It's too pop for me, but that's totally fine. I guess when you like that kind of K-pop, it's a really good song for me. Like I said, in, in general, I, I, I also have to say that it is a good song for what it is. It's just not my music. <laughs> Makes sense, I hope. <laughs> But yeah, we will see. We will go to the second part. Maybe, maybe it will hit me in the second part. I don't know. Maybe they will have an absolute massive bridge. <laughs> I have no idea. We will see. Let's go. That was Wakey Makey with their song, Who Am I? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have something in my throat. Um, in general, like I said before, it's too pop for me. Which part I like is definitely the second half of the chorus, if I can say that. Especially these uh, more background ad libs. This one here, Who Am I? Who am, I? am I who you are? Uh, when they're uh, singing that a little bit more in the background, not really directly in front. That sounds really good in my opinion, but the rest of the song is just too pop for me. It is how it is. I, I miss a little bit this typical K-pop electronic drops here and there, especially in the chorus. That's something I really look forward to in groups like Stray Kids or One Us, for example. Um, of course, uh, I know that Wakey Mickey is not a more rockish K-pop group like Dreamcatcher is, but um, I know that Sweet Dreams had a better vibe for me definitely like i said sweet dreams i i really liked sweet dreams because it sweet dreams got a vibe i don't know it, it got a really good vibe but i can't describe it right now because i haven't heard that song in a in a long time because like i said um the last time last last month in april uh, i have to listen to sweet dreams again um because like i said i remember that i really liked the song because it got something something different i haven't heard in the first wiki Mickey reaction um here it is like I said, the typical bubblegum K-pop song, and that's just not my type of music. But like I said, if if you if you like that kind of K-pop, uh, then I guess that's that's a really good song for you. And I don't want to take it away from you, of course. Um, listen to that song if if you like it, because 
support these artists uh, or your favorite artists, whoever. All right, guys, but still, thanks for this request. Like I said, I, I'm still here to to react to all of these <laughs> K-pop groups you requested, <laughs> of course. Um, even if I'm not 100% into every single song, but that's just my uh, personal opinion. And I guess it would be also really lame if I would say in every reaction, hey, that song was absolutely amazing. And then I went to the next reaction and would tell you the same. Of, co of course, I can't like every song. And it is how it is. But... Like I said, I don't want to take it away from you. Listen to that. Um, yeah, thanks for this request. If you haven't checked out my uh, other Wakey Makey reactions, like I said, the, the first two with uh, Sweet Dreams and my first one, and also, of course, the Suyon solo or Suyon plus band uh, Blackpink cover, then I will give you my Wakey Makey reaction playlist right now in the outro. Just click on the playlist on the screen and you can watch it. Or the other, you can watch the other free reactions if you want to. And yeah. If you want to talk about Wakey Makey with me or the whole community, join our community Discord. Link is down in the description. You can join anytime. You can talk about anything. It would be cool to see you there. And then I hope to see you guys again in another reaction. Would be awesome. And I say bye.